<laughs> I've never took a video of it sitting in the snow before. Well, now I've done that. It's Sunday and uh, kind of late in the afternoon, like 2 o'clock. You know, it's almost back to school season, so I had to take time and do, you know, boring stuff like school shopping. But I'm still going to get something done. I think my next goals are I gotta get that motor put together because I got parts for it clogging up my workbench and all over the place so I just need to get that motor together I don't know what I'm gonna do with it but once it's together but I need to get it together it's a 283 with some dome pistons and big chamber heads and big cam and it probably won't run worth a crap but we're gonna see how it does Maybe what we'll do with it. When it cools off a little bit, I'm going to get that yellow truck out there running. See if the six-cylinder in it is any account. If it ain't, maybe we'll throw that motor in the six-cylinder truck. In the yellow truck. Leave it with a three-speed on the column. That'd be pretty wild. We'll see. We'll see. But i got to get together. But first, got to do some tricky welding for the wife and one of her sculptures. See, this stuff here is cast iron. Bet y'all don't know what them are. I bet you young boys don't know what that is. Alright, some of my long time subscribers, at least more than a year, probably, will recall I had this 283 and I was going to put it together. I was in the mood to do it and I realized I had the wrong piston rings. So then I had to order the piston rings and I've since procured them. But I ain't hit a lick at it in a long time. But I need to get this thing together so there ain't parts scattered all over the place. Some of which are laying on that bench right there. Not you, the ones in the white bag. And that wasn't making a joke about a bag either. Once again, she distracted me. I was going to pull this cover off to see if there's any mice built in nests under here or what, but... I got distracted. They don't look like they did. Everything looks nice and clean. That's good news. Alright, I'm going to round up my other parts, my pistons and my rings. Make sure all that stuff's still clean and see what I got. I won't finish it today because I got a late start. But we'll get her done here. Take it easy, be patient. You know, and I'm getting lots of requests to work on the Ford. You know, are probably right. I should work on it at least to the extent that I can get that cab up off the floor and back on the frame. But in order to do that, I've got to finish figuring out my clutch. I think I need to do some stuff here at the back of the motor too before I put the cab on. I need to put uh, the pedestals on the turbo. The sort of stuff I don't want to do once I get it together because you ain't getting that turbo off unless you pull the cab or the motor one later. Which is one of the drawbacks to this design. But, that's okay. Right? She's just nodding her head. She can't speak. Cat's got her tongue. Right? Alright. Oh, gone. Alright. That's a 7.3 power stroke, by the way. If y'all would have forgot. And there's all the wearing I gotta figure out. Okay. There's some portal walls if anybody needs those. Because I'm like you, I'm like working with wood once in a while. That's another spot I need to clean up pretty soon. There's all kinds of junk up there I don't really need. Or it would be better served storing elsewhere. Mrs. Heavy Chevy's gonna go to the store. What are you gonna get? Salsa Verde. Oh, I'd like to wish she said that. Well, she did put it on a little bit. Just extra for the camera. But that's okay. No, that's how I say it. Verde. That's how you say it. Not how you said it the first time. Salsa Verde.
What you building? I don't know. You're just building? Yeah. You don't like the plastic hammer? No, it won't shape good. <laughs>